All right, Buck, thank you. Senator Warnock, this question is for you. You have said the new Georgia voting laws implemented after the 2020 election create many obstacles for underserved communities. Yet, there was record turnout in Georgia in the primary this May. According to research done by the Brennan Center for Justice, the African-American vote grew approximately 50 percent from 2018 to 2022's primaries. Senator, can you explain how the law negatively impacts minority votes? You have 60 seconds, sir. So I have spent my whole career long before coming to the Senate fighting for voting rights because I believe that a vote is a kind of prayer for the world we desire for ourselves and for our children. We register people to vote in my church. And in the Senate, I've stood up for democracy because that's the framework in which we get to fight for all of the things we care about. There is no question that SB 202 makes voting harder, and that is the intent. And the fact that many of our voters are overcoming this hardship doesn't undermine that reality. They've made it harder for folks to use the drop boxes. They've shortened uh, the registration times. Folks are saying, you know, you shouldn't have to not, you should be able to get food or water in a, in a line. I, I think the question is more fundamental than that. Why the line so long in certain communities and not others? And so I just want to encourage Georgia voters to keep showing up. Don't let anybody take your voice. Don't let anybody take your vote. It took too much to get here, and I'm honored to represent you in the United States Senate. Senator Warnock, thank you. Mr. Walker, we move to you now. In 2020, Georgia became the epicenter for questions on voter fraud. We'd like to hear your thoughts in 60 seconds. Did President Biden defeat former President Donald Trump in 2020? Again, sir, you have 60 seconds. Well, first of all, I need to mention that he said that uh, SB 202, really it made it easier to vote and harder to cheat. And she mentioned that uh, more people turned out for the primary. So you gotten good at in Washington not answering that question, because that was the question she asked you. And did President uh, Biden win? That President is the Biden question. won, President Biden won, and Senator Warnock won. That's the reason I decided to run. Because we need a change in Washington. We need leaders that's gonna stand up to uh, foreign leaders. We need people that's gonna stand up for people in Georgia. Because Senator Warnock, he went to Washington, but he forgot about Georgia. And I want to stand for the people of Georgia. He just mentioned he's standing for the people of Georgia. But can you tell me why he voted with Joe Biden 96% of the time if he was standing for Georgia? That tells you that he's for Joe Biden. I'm for Georgia. Mr. Walker, thank you. Now, before we move on, gentlemen. I'd, I'd, I'd like to respond to that. I will give you that opportunity, it, sir. It, it is. I will give you that opportunity, Senator. You have 15 seconds to respond. It, it is very clear that my opponent would rather be running against anybody except me. But I'm either me, to run there, there are only two people are gonna, who are going to sit in this seat, either me or my opponent. And I think this race is about who's ready to represent the people of Georgia, and I'm thinking about them every single day. But if he cut from the same cloth at 96% of the time, I'm running he and Joe Biden because they're the same. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, we are moving on now. This is this next question. This is a yes or no response. And this is for both of you, Senator Warnock, yes or no, regardless of who wins in November. Will you accept the outcome? Yes. And Mr. Walker, regardless of who wins yes. in November, will you accept the outcome? Yes. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.